Good evening, baseball fans, or should I say, good morning. We have some news. Freddie Freeman is not coming to my Red Sox, and I am, I am very sad. But Freddie Freeman is going to the Dodgers. Man, oh man. Of course, of course, when all of this came, uh, when all of the news came, of course my computer wanted to do all the updates. Of course. And I'm sitting here at my computer, and I'm thinking, Freddie Freeman, this is, I've been waiting for this news all week, and I have been sitting here just waiting, 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 and then when it finally happens, the computer decides that it wants to do some little updates. So this is why I'm a little late to the party, but everyone, Freddie Freeman going to the Dodgers. Uh, huge move, absolutely huge move. We're going to break it down. We're going to look at some lineups. We're going to take a look at some tweets. Uh, you know, honestly, I didn't think my Red Sox were going to do it. I did not think they were going to do it. I think what ended up being the difference maker, I could be wrong. I'm just kind of, I'm honestly just kind of diving into everything right now. Um, but I think what ended up happening, I think the Dodgers, they went that sixth year. I think they went that extra year. I think Freeman was holding out for a team to give him that sixth year. Also, we did have a super chat. We also have a new member, Sergio. What is going on? How are we doing? Ben, Freddie turned down more money with Atlanta. Why? He lied. We're going to have to get into all of this right now. Um, Beating Cozy, $5 Super Chat. Us Dodgers fans are so spoiled. I love it. And honestly, you know, from the very get-go, I've been sitting here and I've been thinking, man, you know, the Rays, if they really want him, they'll go get him. But you know what I think the Rays didn't do? They didn't go the length that he wanted. I think they were probably going four, five years max. I don't think they were going that six year. I think if the Rays ponied up another year, very possible that he could have gone there. And I think that's I think the same thing happened with the Red Sox too. But at the Dodgers, I mean, we're going to find out more details. That's just what I'm thinking right now. Um, but beating Cozy, they're going to be a very good team. We got Super Chats coming in left and right. Uh, Ope Man 100 from one Red Sox fan to another. I was so hyped early this morning to hear thinking Boston had a shot to get Freeman. I don't even know who to despise more. Yankee, <clears throat> Yankees, Dodgers, or both. I'm going to say this right now. For us Red Sox fans, for Yankee fans, for Rays fans, for Blue Jays fans, this was the best possible scenario. You did not want Freddie Freeman in this division. You didn't want it. You didn't want that good of a hitter in any of these lineups. You did not, as a Yankee fan, Blue Jay fan, Rays fans, you did not want Freeman in that Red Sox lineup. Yankee fans didn't want to see him <clears throat> in any other lineup. If, could you imagine if Freeman was in the Blue Jays lineup? Are you kidding me? Could you imagine if he was in the Rays lineup? Are you kidding me? Thank God he just went out to L.A. Honestly, I am ex extremely happy about that. Uh, OP Man 100, thank you for the super chat. Luke Walker, uh, Freddie's going to get booed in Atlanta, and he deserves it. He lied all year about wanting to come back, only to sign with our rivals for less AAV. So let me take a look here at the final contract. Six years, 162. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. Oh, goodness. Left my phone over there because I was so worried about my computer. Uh, here we go. So that comes out to 162 divided by 6. Wow, 27 million. Man. So he did not take the 27 million per year? You know what I wonder it was? You know what I think it was? I bet he thought he was going to get more. He probably thought he was going to get 30 plus. And uh, he, and then Matt Olson signed, and then I think that ruined him. I think that's really what happened, honestly. Uh, ben Lowry, four ninety nine super chat. What's going on? How are we doing? Uh, rumor going around Boston will get Story, but also hearing he might go back to Colorado. Tell me not to get my hopes up for the Sox. Honestly, at this point, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, I don't know if the Red Sox are going to do anything. To be completely honest, I think that this is not the Heim Bloom way. I could see Story 
Here's why I think the Red Sox have been, an inter- have been interested in Trevor's story. Here is why. And that is because they thought that they could get him on a short-term deal. They don't want to do these long-term deals. I'm telling you, you're going to start seeing these long-term deals start to die off because they're just not really good money spent, especially on older players. I think they would have wanted Freeman for a few years, maybe four years, five max. I don't think they were going to go that six. That usually ends up being the difference maker for a lot of these contracts. So I think that's really what it was. Story, on the other hand, maybe the reason, because there was a rumor out there that Story had turned down that contract offer from the Red Sox. And uh, suppose I, my guess, if I'm the Red Sox, I'm thinking they probably offered him, I don't know, four years, 100 max. That's probably my guess of what the Red Sox offered him. And uh, But he's probably looking for, you know, six-year deal, five-year deal, maybe seven-year deal. So we're going to have to wait and see. Ben Lowry, thank you so much. Uh, Sergio, what's going on, my friend? Great day to be a Dodgers fan. All love uh, this drinks on me. Sergio, my friend, hey, go celebrate. Go enjoy it. Because, hey, you know what? The Dodgers, they went, they did what they had to do to get it done. You can't sit here and tell me these other teams didn't have a chance. This guy sat around for like an entire, it what felt like an eternity. And then, you know, a couple of days after Matt Olson signed, you can't tell me that these other teams didn't have a shot. They absolutely had a shot. I think it was just coming down to what I think what these other teams were doing. I would not be surprised at all if, so he ended up getting 27 over six. 27 uh, each year for six years. Let me just make sure I did the math again. Yeah, 27 million per year. Would not be surprised if the Red Sox were offering maybe, you know, 29, 30. Would not be surprised, but probably for four years. I could definitely see something like that. I could see maybe the Red Sox offered, I don't know, four years, 120. Um, Maybe the Rays offered something around that as well. I I guarantee that's what it was. Maybe the Rays went five. Because the Rays supposedly were being aggressive. Maybe the Red, maybe the Rays went five years. I don't think the Red Sox went more than four. I don't think they went more than four. So I, in the end, maybe I'm wrong. I think this came down to, I mean, who knows? Maybe the Red Sox were there at the end. I, I, don't, I don't know. Hopefully some more stuff comes out. Uh, but <clears throat> let's, uh, let's get over to the Twitter. <sighs> Again. You know, I'm sitting here, I'm, you know, I'm hearing all the news and I get on my computer and I'm like sitting here getting the stream set up. And then all of a sudden my computer said, oh, we're going to restart the computer. We're going to do some updates. Ben Lowry, $1.99. Is it possible that the Bosox kicked the tires on Bauer? I don't think so. I don't think so. Is there something about Bauer that I'm not hearing? Did I not hear something about Bauer? What happened with Bauer? Because I'm seeing people saying free Bauer. Did I miss something? Let me get that echo out of there. Sorry about that. Or is that, what does that mean? I'm seeing everyone saying free Bauer. Yeah, I don't know what that means. No, Bauer is going to come back. Bauer is going to come back and uh, he is going to be in this rotation he will he'll he'll serve a suspension and uh i guarantee you he'll he'll miss he got cleared of everything so major league baseball that doesn't mean they're not going to suspend him but uh they they will give him some kind of an 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 extension so i think with trevor bauer you're going to see him absolutely so as for this lineup i mean it's a fantastic lineup i saw uh, jeff passan saying the other day what did Jeff Passon say the other day um or not the other day earlier I don't I, I'm just my brain is not working right now what the heck just happened here here we go I saw Passon saying this where is it Passon in nearly 20 years covering baseball not sure I've seen a better lineup than this one uh, I mean, it is looking really good. 
obviously it's a it's an extremely good looking lineup. Um, you might be able to argue maybe that 2020 lineup was really good too. That 2020 lineup was basically you take out Freeman. Well, they didn't have Trey Turner either. So yeah, actually this one might be better. I was gonna say maybe that uh maybe that 2020 lineup was even better than this, but this lineup actually. Yeah, I mean, because you have Freeman and Turner here, whereas before you had Seeger and you had Muncie at first. Yeah, this one's better. So yeah, this one's pre- this is pretty nuts. But listen, everyone, I'm not. I'm just. This is just me being realistic here. This is just me being realistic. I'm not trying to rain on the parade. I know it's a happy time. I'm just saying. But hopefully, this lineup can stay healthy. Hopefully, this lineup. They can all stay on the field. That's the key. That's the key here. This lineup may look may look very good right now. This may look like, you know, Murderer's Row, the LA Dodger version. But I'm just telling you, look at that pitching staff last year with the Dodgers. Look at that pitching staff with the Dodgers last year. It looked nuts. Remember that? Trevor Trevor Bauer going to the Dodgers? I mean, that lineup was that rotation was stupid. And, remember, and look what happened to that rotation by the end. Kershaw wasn't pitching in the postseason. You had Bueller. You had Urias. Bauer was suspended. And then look what happened to the rotation. So I'm just saying, I know this is good, but this is not the, this is not, obviously this is going to be a huge part of the team. Huge part of the team right here. Obviously. This lineup is stupid good. But what I actually like more about the Dodgers is their depth. I love the depth of the Dodgers because if someone does go down, right? Because I'm just telling you, I'm again, I'm, I'm just, I'm here to just give you different point of views. I'm not going to sit here and be like, wow, man, look at that lineup. That's looking great. Everyone's saying that. Everyone's saying that. I'm going to give you a different look. I'm going to say, wow, this lineup, yeah, it does look really good. But what happens if Cody Bellinger goes down? What happens if Max Muncy, you know, hurts his forearm again? What happens if Freddie Freeman ends up, you know, getting hurt? What happens? You know, Mookie Betts have a, has a bad back for a few weeks. This is where I'm going to look at the Dodgers in their farm system. Uh, you got guys like Michael Bush who can come in and play some infield. You know, maybe Andy Pages can make his way up a little quicker. Um I mean, you got guys down here who they could contribute. And as, as more on the pitching side, I'll say that as well. You got someone like Jacob Amaya in here too. Um, you got uh, you got Leonard here. They got some guys who can help out in the minor leagues. So I really like that. But also, I'm looking at someone like Gavin Lux too. I mean, Gavin Lux is a, is a nice, good bat to have off of your bench. Uh, Beatty. Obviously, that's looking pretty good too. Uh, you know, their bench looks pretty good. Minor leagues look good. Again, I'm not going to, you know, rain on the parade because obviously this is very good. This is very good. I just hope it stays healthy because I want this lineup to stay healthy because this could be the most, this could be one of the most historic lineups of all time. Um, I know it's exciting, you know, but uh, just saying, man. That this is uh, very. It's an it's a this is an exciting time for Dodger fans, but it kind of does remind me of last year with that rotation. Remember how excited we all got? And I'm thinking everyone's everyone was crowning the Dodgers at that point. You know, wow, Kershaw, Bueller, Bauer, Urias, like it was just like the most stupid rotation you had ever seen. And so, and look what happened. But this lineup, though, you know, I do worry a little bit about, you know, guys like Turner. He's, you know, he's 37 years old. He's a young looking 37. He's a young 37. So, but, you know, you never know with Turner. You know, you never know. Bellinger, he, what the heck? Hopefully this guy is back on track this year. I think Turner is going to be fine. Mookie Betts is going to be fine. They got a lot of star power here. But the key to this Dodgers team is the depth. That's the key. That's the key. Uh, K Casino, $5 Super Chat. What's going on? Monstrous Farm. Yes, they do. Uh, they will have reinforcements should something happen. Absolutely. So 
And that's why this Dodgers organization is so good. That's why it's so good. You got these guys down here who could contribute, who could step up, who can help out. So really like that. You know, you even have someone like James Altman here. You know, look at James Altman in the minor leagues last year. Hit 266, had 18 home runs, 379 on base. And this guy's your number 27 prospect. You know, taking a look at someone like Jorbit Vivas. Can play some middle infield. Look at Vivas last year. Hit 312, 14 homers, 87 RBIs, a 396 on base. That guy's your number 19 prospect. How about Leonard, huh? How about Leonard? Look at Leonard last year in the minor leagues. Hit 296, 22 home runs, 81 RBIs, the 390 on base. Ladies and gentlemen, I can I can go on and on and on. This Dodgers farm system, the depth of this organization, this is going to be the key. Absolutely going to be the key. I know it looks great right now on paper, but guys can go down. Stuff can happen. It always happens. It's a long season, especially when you get to the dog days of August. These guys, they got some guys here. So, um, but wow, this is very exciting. This is very exciting. Can the Dodgers put it all together and just win a World Series that is not in a shortened COVID season? Can they do it? I, I'm, I'm no disrespect to the 2020 season, I'm just saying, but I would like the Dodgers... 162, win the division, go to the playoffs, win the whole thing. That's what I want. That's what I want right there. I want to see that. So they have a team definitely good enough because they have some pretty deep starting pitching. I will say maybe not as deep as you would want it to be. You know, Bauer will come back at some point. Um, You know, but Kershaw, you never know with Kershaw. Is Bueller going to be, you know, durable again? Urias, is he going to be durable again? Sermon King, $5 super chat. Dare we say, Frankie Montas back to the Dodgers. Could you imagine? Could you imagine? So, man, oh man. They have the prospects to get it done. They have the prospects to get it done. But how about this bullpen, huh? The bullpen looks pretty good too. Uh, yeah, obviously, you know, trying. And remember, they got Daniel Hudson. Uh Hey, Bruised R. Gratterall. I love me some Bruised R. Gratterall. Look at David Price in middle relief. <laughs> Look at David Price over here in middle relief like it's no big deal. Um, but yeah, this Dodgers team is very good. Uh, yeah, man. Very good. Everyone, if you can, hit that like button for me. We're at 122 likes. We're closing in on 21,000 subscribers. 21,000 subscribers. Let's hit that like button. Let's hit that subscribe button. Uh, Man, we're like 12 subscribers away from 21,000. Yeah, Justin Lamas, I agree. Uh, Gonsolin and Heaney. You know, those are uh, are some good back-end pieces. But but let's take a look at some some tweets out here. Let's see what guys are saying. Uh, All right, so kind of went back a little bit. So taking a look, Heyman, Dodgers lineup looks absolutely devastating. Freeman, Muncie, um, taking a look here. Braves uh, are said to have offered 140 over five. So, I mean, like I said, that was the, that was it. He wanted that six year. That was it. I mean, he, he took a little less AAV, but listen, these guys... They want job security. The Dodgers went that six year. That looks like it was the holdup all along. So, honestly, good for the Braves. Good for the Braves. Good for them. They got Matt Olson, who is a little younger, similar production. They got him for two more years and for six mil, excuse me, six million dollars less per year. I mean, I'm just saying. I mean, Matt, I mean, look at the Braves, huh? They did pretty well. Uh, let's take a look here. Uh, here's Jeff Passon to illustrate what the Dodgers have. Gavin Lux is still just 24, wildly talented, more than worthy of regular ABs. Depth is a key for teams at the major league and minor league levels, and the Dodgers have built it. I feel like I was just saying that. Uh, Giants 2, NL West is going to be an awfully good time this summer, absolutely. 
Um, let's refresh. Let's see if there's anything new. 600 people in the chat. Everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Uh, just in case you have been living under a rock, Freddie Freeman is going to the LA Dodgers. And hey, I wish I could have gotten here a little sooner. But this freaking computer, every time. It's like, you know, you know I've, actually, I've actually been blessed with some good luck this offseason. I've been able to get on pretty quick. Um, but uh, this time, not so much. My computer decided it wanted to take like 20 minutes to do updates. And by the time I got on, I had to set up all the stream. So, but uh, let's kind of take a look here. So there are some teams, obviously, hey, we can sit here and talk about the Dodgers all day. But let's look at some other teams here, you know, that had a chance, right? So there's my Red Sox. There were the Rays. You know, the Yankees, it looked like they probably pulled out a little while ago. The Blue Jays, they pulled out a while ago. The When, you know, the Yankees, they got Rizzo. You know, Blue Jays, they got Chapman. So pretty much the Blue Jays were out of it probably by yesterday. And the Yankees were out of it as well by yesterday. So really... It looks like the last two teams that were the runners-up for Freddie Freeman were the Red Sox and the Rays. So where do the Rays turn from here? Let's start with the Rays, shall we? So, I mean, to me, the Rays are still in good shape. You know, they have been in trade talks supposedly with Austin Meadows. Could you maybe go out there and maybe trade for a first baseman? Uh, The Rays could go out there if they really wanted to upgrade at first base. They absolutely could. Let's go take a look at some first baseman, you know, that maybe you could see come over in a trade. Um, probably not Sasugo. Browns probably not. Bobby Bradley maybe. I don't know. Probably the Cleveland would want to hang on to him. Jimmy Productions, what is going on, Robbie? What do you think about the Nationals? You know, I think the Nationals are still a bit of a sneaky team. Uh, keep an eye out for the Nationals. I wonder if the Nationals maybe can go do something. If we go to the free agent tracker here, What the heck just happened? That's, whoops, wrong one. Here we go. Tracker. I have my caps on. There we go. Uh, Jimmy Productions, thank you for the super chat. So let's go take a look at the updated free agent tracker. Let's go to the unsigned. So as of right now, still the top remaining free agent, Carlos Correa. There was a rumor from earlier today that the Orioles might have an offer out there still. 10-year, $300 million. Will Carlos Correa take $10, $30 million per year? I don't know. We're going to have to wait and see. I've been saying here for a little while, Carlos Correa might. He uh, he might. I I don't know. But then he also could maybe take a short-term deal with the Astros, go back out to free agency, or he could just take a long-term deal with the Astros. We'll have to wait and see. So, could you imagine, Kevin, a one-year, $40 million deal, $45 million? Could you imagine? Ugh. I mean, if you look at Correa, what was he worth last year? Fangraphs, if you go take a look at value, you can see what they were worth. That's not value. Here we go. Value. I mean, Correa was worth $46.2 million last year. Could, could you imagine the Astros sign him for $50 million for one year? Like, could you imagine that? Carlos Correa signs a one-year $50 million deal? Good grief. Uh, that would be just ridiculous. But we still got Correa out there. We still got Castellanos. We still got Story. Castellanos, Jimmy Productions, I- I'm telling you, I don't know if Castellanos goes to the Nationals. Probably, maybe not, you know, because they just got Nelson Cruz for DH. But if they wanted to bring in Castellanos and maybe play some left field, uh, I I mean, maybe, maybe, you know, Lane Thomas. Who would you rather have in left field? Well, Lane Thomas will give you better defense, but Nick Castellanos is going to give you the bat. So, I don't know. But, yeah, for the Nationals, I still think Correa is a good fit for the Nationals, to be completely honest. I've, I've thought that for a little while. I don't know. But um, for the Nationals, I don't know. I think they could maybe use a pitcher. You know, if we're let's, uh, let's pull up the Nationals here, Jimmy. And uh, let's take a look here. 
going to Washington. We almost got 700 people in the chat. I appreciate people coming out. It is oh, it is past 1 a.m. here on the East Coast. All you Dodger fans out there, it's what it's uh t- you know 10:15 where you're at. You guys are you know you're still you're still you're gonna be crawling into bed soon. And here's me. I am way past my bedtime. Way past my bedtime. I'm supposed to be snuggling my pillow right now. And here I am at 1:15. Sitting at my desk talking about baseball. Jimmy Productions. Josh Bell could also be a trade candidate. That could be interesting. I wonder if the Nationals would do something like that. So, we'll have to wait and see, Jimmy. But yeah, with the Nationals, I, I don't know. I, I think Castellanos could be awesome. Correa would be great. I, I honestly, I think Correa would be amazing. You know, you could do... Could the, I don't think the Nationals will do... Someone like Jorge Soler, probably not. Jorge Soler needs to go somewhere where they have an open DH. So we're going to have to wait and see whatever whatever happens with that. But uh, for the Rays, let's go back here. If they wanted to make an upgrade, <laughs> you, got a, you got good old Eric Hosmer out there. Eric Hosmer is still sitting out there. I'm just saying. All is not lost. Eric Hosmer is still available. I mean, uh, if we're looking here, would the Cubs trade Schwindel? Could they take advantage of that high value? The Red Sox still have Dahlback. I'll talk about the Red Sox here in a second. But uh, you know, there's not really a lot of first baseman that maybe you can pull off a trade for at the moment. So we're going to have to wait and see. Maybe Josh Bell, like you said, Jimmy, that could definitely happen. Uh, if we pull up baseball trade values, uh, chill boy, what's going on? Dollar 99 Yankee pitching trade options, uh, not in Oakland. Hmm. That's always the, uh, that's always the one that everyone wants to turn to. Well, I think we can figure out who some pictures could be available. Well, probably not Luis Castillo, probably not Tyler Maley. Uh, let's take a look here. I'm a visual guy. I need to go look at a list of players. Here we go. So, trying to think off the top of my head. Starting pictures that could be available. I don't know. Let's take a look. This part of baseball trade values, it takes so long. Here we go. Uh, Another super chat coming in. Chill boy, I'm still working on yours. Samuel Lopez, chances the Dodgers move Lux to get pitching. Always very possible. Because don't forget, they have someone like Michael Bush. You know, down below, if you know, if they wanted to go, you know, turn to a, a middle infielder, you could always go to someone like Michael Bush. So I could see the Dodgers maybe moving Gavin Lux. I mean, I, I don't see why not. Uh, let's take a look at some pictures uh, for the uh, for the Yankees. Uh, all right, so who are some pictures here that could be pretty good? There is Pablo Lopez. Maybe he's been in the rumors. Uh, Daniel, what's going on? Can't wait to hear what happened during the uh, negotiations in... Oh, Freddie Freeman negotiations in 10 years. Agent overplayed it, it seems. Braves versus Dodgers is going to be fun again. Uh, I think that absolutely could be the NLCS once again. Third straight year. I do think they overplayed it a little bit. And I think they kind of... But then again, you kind of... You didn't know what the Braves and Matt Olson were going to do. I'm sure that kind of took them by surprise when Matt Olson signed for $21 million per year. They probably didn't think he was going to go that low. They probably thought, okay, yeah, there's no way he goes below 25. And no, they they got, they got tried to call the bluff and they couldn't do it. So, Crown Jewel, $1.99. As a Yanks fan, I'm glad Freeman isn't in the AL East. Hey, hey, Yankee fans, hey. We can, we can find common ground. We don't have to worry about Freddie Freeman. We don't have to worry about Freddie Freeman. Even the Rays, we found common ground. And the Blue Jays. The AL East is in harmony tonight. It's in harmony. We can all live in peace without Freddie Freeman. Okay. Uh, there is someone like John Means. I don't know if the, the Orioles would trade him to the Yankees. Uh, again, there's Montaz. Um, hmm. I don't know. When you're really looking at it, I don't know really what guys. I don't know, man. Maybe someone like Savali. 
Possibly. Adrian Gomez, Rockies have a stacked outfield and some young guys waiting. They need to move Tapia and Daza for some pitching. It's crazy how many outfielders we have. I'm telling you, I went on a bit of a rant earlier in the last stream going off about, I think the Rockies, look out for them. They could be pretty decent next year. They could be pretty decent. Who's another pitcher for the Yankees maybe they could trade for? I'm answering a super chat right now. Uh, let's see. I don't know, man. Eliezer Hernandez is someone. I don't know if he would really, you know, do much for the Yankees. Probably not you, Darvish. I don't see the Padres even coming close to getting rid of him. Uh, I don't know, man. Right now, the market for starting pitching is pretty much the A's. That's pretty much it. I mean, you probably, there are some other guys out there, guys that I'm not thinking of. I would think the Marlins, they have a surplus of pitching. Um, let me go back to the depth charts here. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Uh, let's pull up the starting pitchers. Who has a plethora of starting pitching that maybe you could trade away? Probably not the Phillies. I think they're going to hang on to what they got. Probably not the White Sox. I mean, probably not the Dodgers. Astros, no. Blue Jays, no. I mean, again, the Marlins are that one team where they got a lot of guys. So I could see them maybe parting with Pablo. Maybe. I think they, I think they end up hanging on to him anyway. So Angels, no. Um... <clears throat> Again, maybe someone like, I don't know. I don't think the Indians, I don't know. Trading away starting pitchers, it's just not really something teams are going to do unless they're in complete sell mode, you know? So I think the A's are really the only team right now, you know? The Rockies definitely need, to, I think they could use another pitcher. I don't see, yeah, I, honestly, there's really not a lot of guys out there. Maybe a couple of guys on the Marlins, honestly, you know? So... Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, Adrian, I agree. Rockies have a lot of outfielders. They might have to make a move. There And Nick C, I see you as well. Maybe the Rockies could trade away Herman Marquez. I don't see it. I think they hang on to him. I mean, why would the Rockies trade away Herman Marquez when they just brought in Chris Bryant? You know, the Rockies are obviously trying to make something happen. So, I mean... You know, the Reds, uh, I'm not, I didn't include the Reds because there were reports um, that the Reds, they're not looking to trade Luis Castillo or Maley. So I'm just saying, uh, but let's go back here to Twitter. Let's see if there's anything else, any new tweets. Wow. No one's tweeting. Wow. 31 minutes ago. I figured we'd have like a ton of tweets right now. Everyone went to bed. So uh, as to the Rays, I mean, I think really they might look into maybe some Austin Meadows trades. They might just try and reshuffle their lineup around. Maybe maybe you can get Meadows, you know, in some kind of a trade. Maybe you can bring in, you know, some kind of a picture or whatever. I mean, if we look at the Rays, we got another Super Chat coming in. Jimmy Productions, the Yankees should trade Luke Voigt, Glaber Torres, and Aaron Hicks for Ramon Laureana. Ooh, yeah, so Jimmy Productions, those three, there, there's no way because Loriano is going to be worth over $60 million, Montez is going to be worth $40 million, and Manaya is going to be worth around $15 million. So that's $115 million total. Voight, Glaber, together, those guys are going to be worth around maybe 15, 13 to $15 million. And Aaron Hicks has a negative value. So... You, if you're the Yankees, one of those guys, you could do maybe Luke Voigt and Glaber Torres for, for Manaya, but I don't think the A's would want Luke Voigt and Glaber Torres because they're going to be adding payroll at that point. They're going to be adding payroll. So I think the A's, they want prospects and they want pre-arbitration guys. So... If you're looking at the Rays, honestly, I could see the Rays standing pat. You know, they went for a guy. They didn't get him. I don't think they end up doing anything more. You know, again, maybe Austin Meadows. He's been in rumors. You could trade him. Maybe bring in, maybe take a different approach. 
Uh, I'm not sure who, but maybe the Rays do something like that. So I'm not expecting a lot from the Rays after missing out on Freddie Freeman. Uh, my Red Sox. Where do the Red Sox turn from here? Well, I think with the Red Sox, I think you're, you can just stand pat with what you have at first base right now because you got someone like Tristan Cassis. Honestly, good for Tristan Cassis. You know, I did... Here's the thing. I did want Freddie Freeman. I really did. Because with Freddie Freeman, you know what you're getting with Freddie Freeman. Okay? But... With Tristan Cassis, if you were to get Freddie Freeman, that guy, you would have to trade Cassis. Like, it would just, you wouldn't have to trade him, but it would make the most sense to try and get something for him. So, with Freeman, now that you're not getting him in Beantown, they can hang on to Cassis, right? And now they can just let this guy, you know, just be the guy that they think he can be. Uh, honestly, I'm very happy for Tristan Cassis, honestly. So uh, I'm glad he's going to be staying in Boston. But uh, I, don't think the, I don't think the Red Sox will do anything about addressing first base. I think if they got Freddie Freeman for maybe four years, they would have done it. But I think in the end, I think this works out better for the Red Sox. But uh, I still would have liked me some uh, some Freeman for sure. But the Red Sox... Here's the thing with the Red Sox now. Chris Sale could be out for a couple of months. The guy is made of just glue, rubber bands, toothpaste. I don't know what he's even... But Chris Sale, man, you, you got to eat. You got to eat. You got to eat, man. You got to put on some muscle, man. You got to put on that muscle. You got to do it. Come on, man. Gallon of milk per day. Don't sit here and tell me your metabolism's quick. Don't give me that nonsense. Go in the kitchen. Go get yourself a gallon of milk, whole milk. Go drink one of those per day. Go pump some iron. You got to put some muscle on those bones, Sale. I love you, my friend. I love you. You're amazing. But you got to eat. You got to go pump that iron, man. Jimmy Productions, what's going on? I'd trade Corbin and his contract for Glaber Torres. We need a short stop. Uh, but I think we stay with Asilo's, Asilo's Escobar. So, um, yeah. I mean, I could definitely see something like that. If we go over here to... Hold on, let me pull up the... Oh, wait, I'm not on the right one. Wait. Let me go here. Let me just go to a trade. So, what was the trade again? Corbin... And his contract for Glaber Torres. We need a shortstop. So let's see. Nationals. Yankee. So if we go take a look here, that could be a pretty decent fit. Patrick Corbin, man. Would they trade Patrick Corbin? Would the Yankees want Patrick Corbin? I don't know. Let's take Patrick Corbin right now. He has a very, his value is just shot. It's at like negative 62.3. So the Nationals would actually have to pair him with money or prospects to get rid of him. So Glaber Torres, though, could be a fit for the Nationals. I could maybe see the Nationals taking a bite on Glaber. That could be interesting. But then again, look how bad he was at shortstop for the Yankees. He looks like a second baseman at this point. You know? So if we go to the depth charts, who's a team that you could... And you just got Cesar Hernandez. So who's a team that could use a second baseman? Well, you got the Orioles, the Pirates, probably not the White Sox now. I mean, they still could get Glaber Torres, but... Honestly, I think with, I mean, I don't know, man. Could you just do like Glaber Torres and one other guy for Sean Manea? Honestly, I know it's kind of boring talking about these athletics guys, but they are available. So if you did Manea, if you did Glaber, 
You could do Glaber and like one other guy. But I wonder if the Yankees will think this is worth it. You know, you could do Glaber and then maybe just throw in one other prospect. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe like Sakema. And at that point, you're pretty much in range. It would be a slight overpay on this model, but, you know, you could do something like that. I think Torres, he's he would either be a part of a package. I could see that. I could see a package of Torres and some prospects for Montez. I would think the Yankees, knowing how the Yankees are, I could see them thinking Torres is not worth only getting Manea back. There's no way. So I could see Torres being in a package. But would the A's even want him because of his arbitration salary? I don't know. I don't know. But as for the Red Sox, I do think they uh, they got some decisions to make because, I mean, you, you know, listen, this is not this, – this is not – this is not anything new to the Red Sox. They did not have Chris Sale until the second half last season. So let's just keep that in mind. So they've done this before. But when you're looking at this rotation, it's Evaldi, Pavetta. Pavetta came up big in the playoffs. But I don't know, regular season? I mean, you know, is Pavetta a number two? But then you got Rich Hill, Waka, there's James Paxton. I don't know what the heck you're going to get out of all three of those guys. And then there's Tanner Houck. But Tanner Houck, young guy, he's still improving. So I still think the Red Sox are going to be in play. They're going to make some kind of a move. They're going to make a move. But with the Red Sox, Red Sox fans, we got to temper the expectations. I still thought Freeman was too good to be true. I got myself excited over it. And you know what? I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have. I should have known better. And I was saying that from the start. Like, I don't think they were going to get him. But I got myself kind of excited to where I kind of convinced myself that maybe the Red Sox were actually going to do it. And, you know, hey, shame on me. I I should know better. That's not what Bloom does. He'll do the short-term deal of anything. So... Not surprised about that, but I could definitely see the Red Sox doing something. Do I see them making a trade? The only way I could see them making a trade would be for someone like, I don't even know. I don't think Sean Murphy is even a possibility at this point because the only reason I thought maybe Sean Murphy was a possibility is if we signed Freeman and then you would have had Cassis available. So I think Sean Murphy's off the table. I don't think they go get Montez. The Red Sox don't, they're trying to rebuild that farm system. They're getting into a place where they are starting to like their farm. Hein Bloom was talking about the Dodgers the other day. We're talking about the Dodgers tonight. E-Rock TV, $2 Super Chat, uh, A's cards, Baez McGreevy for Manea and Smith. Um... I, yeah, the Cardinals, they could use a starting pitcher too. They could definitely use some starting pitching. Could they go get him? Could they go get Montaz? I think Manea is more likely because that um, that starting pitching staff, or sorry, while that starting pitching staff would benefit from someone like Montaz, they don't really have the prospects. They have some. They could go get Manea. They wouldn't be able to get Montaz, I think. Wesley, what's going on, man? Cardinals make big three again. Nolan, Paul, and Story for Cardinals would be nice. Uh, Albert for DH. Huh. Trade DeYoung for starting pitching possible. I don't know. Do the. I don't think the Cardinals go back with, with pool holes. That's just my gut. I just Teams never do it. They just never go back to their player. Like, there's a player sitting out there. Like, oh, let's come into your career. You know, Granky did that today. You never see that. Uh, could they do it with pool holes? Sure. They could. Um, story would be pretty cool for the Cardinals. I'm still thinking he ends up with the Twins. I'm still thinking he ends up with the Twins. But uh, 
We'll have to wait and see. Could the Cardinals trade DeYoung? Maybe get a starting pitcher? And uh, then you can go, go sign Story, maybe? I don't know. Uh, Jimmy Productions, my World Series prediction, Mets versus Astros. Ooh, Mets have better pitching than the, and then the Dodgers, and the Astros have the best lineup. You know what I'm thinking right now? You know what I'm thinking right now for this World Series? This is not my final prediction by any means. Man. I like the Blue Jays and the Braves, man. I like those two teams, man. They got deep starting pitching. Honestly, I'm more confident about the Blue Jays making it than the Braves. Man, I want to pick the Cardinals so bad for that National League. I just don't think I can. With their thin starting pitching, I don't think I can do it. I mean, it could end up being deep. But you don't know what you're going to get out of Michaelis, out of Hudson, Flaherty. What the heck's going on with him? I'm telling you guys, I uh, I like me some Blue Jays, man. You know why I like the Blue Jays? Because they already have a deep starting staff, which is key for getting through a 162. But they also have some prospects, too. Crown Jewel 999 Super Chat off topic, but I'm glad I recently came across your channel. As a Yankee fan these days, I enjoy talking to Red Sox fans. Uh, we come together with a common hatred of the Astros. We also come together with a common uh, a common happiness of no Freddie Freeman in the American League East. We no Freddie Freeman. I think we can all come together on that one as well. And the Astros. And the Astros. We hate the Astros because they always beat us, huh? Um, hey, I, hey! If, if you want to make, if I, if I can make Yankee fans feel better, at least the Astros beat us fair and square, but they beat the Yankees with trash cans. So the Yankees made out better than we did. So E Rock TV, two dollar super chat. When healthy, the Cardinals rotation is very good. I agree. That's the only thing I'm concerned about. That's the only thing I'm concerned about, man. Is is that rotation going to be healthy? I don't know. I don't know. But uh, that Blue Jays starting staff, man, I love their minor league depth. The Blue Jays got depth, man. If we go take a look. Uh, Blue Jays. I mean, if you take a look here. Well, they got to move Gunnar Hogland out of here. So they got guys that could play some infield. So that is always very nice. Pitching, you still got Nate Pearson hanging around somewhere. Uh, Jimmy Productions, 499. Also, I think your Red Sox should go get Salvador Perez or Whit Merrifield. I wouldn't mind Whit Merrifield. Whit Merrifield would be pretty nice. They're just never going to trade him. I don't think they're going to do it. I don't think they're going to do it. So... The only trade I could see the Red Sox making, I've been beating it like a dead horse. I think they could go out there and get Will Myers. I could see something like that because Bloom will get a prospect with him. I could see something like that. So be on the lookout for Will Myers for the Red Sox. I could definitely see Bloom doing that. So, but the Blue Jays, man, they have traded away some guys, but... They do got some guys. You got to take Kevin Smith and Gunnar Hogland out of here. MLB Pipeline, what are you doing? Please get on the ball. Uh, but the, the Blue Jays, they got some guys down here who could help. So, but I don't know. I still have not made my decisions, but I have just really uh, enjoyed what the Blue Jays have done, to be completely honest. The Dodgers are obviously very dangerous right now. Um. Their farm system is extremely deep. The Blue Jays are going to be really tough. But then again, I think the Mariners could be pretty tough in that American League. They got depth in that minor league system. So, Cash Nelson, $1.99. What's going on? What pictures should the cards uh, get starting or pen? I think at this point, I don't know what's going to happen with Flaherty. I, I don't know. They do have Matthew Liberatore. I still think right now... Maybe get one more bullpen guy. One more bullpen guy. I could see that. Kind of let the starting pitching play out a little bit. Um, 
James Solerio, what's going on, man? Braves fans sound like spoiled brats booing Freeman. They literally managed to upgrade at first base with Acuna back. They're better on paper in 2022. Uh, dude, that Braves team is going to be really good. Um, hey, Braves fans, you got Matt Olson for about $6 million cheaper per year. You got him locked up for a longer deal. I think the Braves are winners here. I mean, I know Braves fans might not want to hear that, but I think the Braves are winners, you know? So, James Solario, thank you for the $5 Super Chat. Um, but we're going to have to wait and see where these guys end up going. I still think there's a shot. Maybe someone like Trevor Story could go to the Red Sox, but there's also the Twins, the Angels. Who knows what they're going to do? They could always use a shortstop. Correa definitely could just go back to the Astros. There's the Orioles. That they're floating around out there. Castellanos. Where does Castellanos go? I'm waiting for the Diamondbacks to step up and make a move. This is their chance for Nick Castellanos. If they, they need an impact bat. They need pitching too. But if you want to go out there and go get yourself an impact bat, Castellanos is the guy. Could Castellanos go to the Red Sox? I don't see it. Unless he wants a short-term deal. If he'll do a short-term deal, I think maybe Bloom would be intrigued. So, would he be up for a four-year deal? Something like that, especially with J.D. Martinez on his way out of town. Could you imagine Castellanos and J.D. Martinez in the same lineup? So, I don't know. But we still got some guys out here, everyone. This offseason is far from over. But everyone, I'm going to go get myself out of here. It is almost 2 a.m. I'm tired. You're tired, except for all of you on the West Coast. I know you're just wide awake right now. You're not going to be able to go to sleep tonight, Dodger fans. You're going to be uh, just giggling in your bed, just thinking about Freddie Freeman in a Dodgers uniform. And you know what? More power to you. You do giggle all night. You do. You stay excited all night. You deserve it. You, you deserve it. Be excited because that's a big move. That's a big move. What a lineup for the Dodgers. But uh, everyone, if you can, hit that like button for me. Oh, we just hit 21,000 subscribers. 21,000 subscribers. Everyone, thank you so much for that. Really appreciate that. We're on our way to 30,000 subscribers. Um, but everyone, if you can, hit that like button for me on the way out. Subscribe if you are new. Uh, but that's all I have for tonight. I'll be back tomorrow. And I'll talk to you next time.